turning on this. <sighs> These tires might just be too old. I don't know. I can't even see. I've probably seen better days. We'll see how it is. Um, oh man! But this is a 265-70 R16, and my normal tires are 245. So what that comes out to is a difference of 0 0.2 inches in diameter. This one's just slightly taller, but uh, we'll see how it holds up. DOT OB72 PDD. This is the number that concerns me. 3300. That means that this tire was made in the 33rd week of 2000. Campsite isn't too much further. This is an old spare tire. I don't feel great about it in general, but for a low speed dirt road like this, uh, I think we can make it. If not, we have to turn around, drive on that wheel or rig something up. But we're gonna try and make it a little bit further, just see how that tire does. Uh, and then when we get back in town, we're gonna for sure have to get a new spare as well as replacing that other tire or getting four new ones. So, see what the journey holds. So, <laughs> a little more trouble. Uh, going all the way up this hill, you can see we've climbed a lot of elevation. The trans uh, oil temp light came on, so we gotta let the truck cool off a little bit. We really don't have much more to climb, but I don't wanna hurt the transmission. So, we've gotta basically climb up there uh, and just get crested right up over here. It's not much further. We gotta let the truck cool down um, so we can get up there without damaging the truck. A little unfortunate, I've just been using low gear so much that uh, it's kind of inevitable, I guess. such a cool spot. Well, for fishing, uh, all I got was a little nibble. He swam right up to me and kind of let go of it right there once he got close to me, but not bad. I didn't explain it, but the road we took was gnarly. Um, honestly, regardless of modifications, uh, you know, wheels, tires, lockers, whatever, um, bumpers, armor. My truck's about the biggest thing you could reasonably get up here. Some of the clearances between logs that have been cut to make the road still drivable, my truck is barely squeezing through them. I think a full-size rig would have a really tough time getting around here without um, any body damage in terms of just hitting the door panels with trees that have been cut down. I wasn't necessarily intending this. I usually stick to pretty nice Forest Service roads. Um, what we did today really was more wheeling. I couldn't have made it up to the spot without four-wheel drive. Um, and even then there were spots I did have to take uh, multiple lines at just once or twice. I had to back up, try it again with more speed. Um, so it was a little interesting. That spare tire held up. Um, we're just going to eat now, uh, have a little dinner, and then I think we can go fishing again once the sun gets a little lower. But it's really nice out here. This is a good spot. I've never done this before.
So I also added this little cargo net. It kind of keeps the lights tucked away, but I actually added it so I had a place to hold my reflectix, which goes on my side and rear windows to keep it a little more insulated. But this cargo net worked pretty good. I hung it from the same place as the lights, uh, just some little like conduit clips that I've got screwed in there. But that turned out pretty good. It bounces a little, but it's honestly not bad. All right, we got a fish. Let's see him. I think, ah. Oh, he's a little guy. We'll put him back, but that was a heck of a catch. He swam and got it right as I was reeling up to the shore. Yeah, fish are so beautiful. Look at this little guy. Oh, I hope I hope I can get him unhooked. He's tiny. He's got more life in him. So let's get him back out there. Okay, so I've got camp all set up uh, inside of my truck. Got the reflectix here, around here. So we're all set up, ready to go to bed. Um, like I said, I got this Aerolax. Got this new pad from Aerolax, which I'm sleeping on. The regular sleeping bag and uh, camping pillow set up. See how I sleep. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, woke up. It's about nine o'clock right now. The uh, mountains made our sunrise a little late, but uh, I'm doing good. We're just gonna go fishing a little bit, see if we can catch anything, uh, then make breakfast, head out. We do have to kind of resolve the spare tire situation. With it being so old, I don't. I don't know if I can drive home on it or not. We got about 130 miles to get home at least. Uh, once we get on the paved roads, I do find on the dirt roads. I'm just not sure if I can handle the heat um, from driving on a highway. If I can handle that speed, that's what I'm not sure about. But yeah, we might have to stop at the nearest town and then get a new tire for it. But we'll see. So yeah, let's get some fishing done. We got two nibbles, but I think it's time to try a new spot. That was where I caught my fish, my little guy yesterday. Go see if we can get a little bigger fish. Still want to do catch and release probably. I don't have any intentions of eating and I'm not sure how good tasty these trout would even be, but it's fun. Oh, we're getting just about ready to get out of here. Uh, we're mostly packed up, but this was a good trip. Um, that road was really hard to get up here. It's gonna be a lot easier to go down it, I think. Um, hopefully the transmission doesn't overheat, but this is a beautiful sight. Um, I didn't really explain where we were. So we're in the San Machalas National Forest, basically, but we're in like the Frank Church uh, River of No Return wilderness. So all around us is wilderness area. And since this is kind of developed and there's a guard station way at the bottom of this mountain, um, it's still considered part of the national forest instead of the wilderness area but this is about as remote a place as you can drive to in a truck in idaho this is this is pretty far out there and i know we ran into other people but um this is getting out here for what you can do um in a truck like mine uh, most of the stuff back here is accessed by hiking or four wheelers um, yeah this is a great site no bugs really high up caught a fish 
Um, it's a good time. So thank you guys for watching and we'll uh, catch you in the next video.